Hello, hello, more dimmers here and today I would like to show you the game which maybe will make you feel better because in chess everybody makes some blunders, even the super grandmaster. So the game was played in 2014 in Sir Hill uh, Island in Norway, not far from Stavanger, a very beautiful island with a stunning botanical garden with some road, you know, from one side of the continent to another side through the island. So beautiful scenery, very nice uh, place to relax and maybe play chess uh, tournament also. Tournament was very strong, that was Blitz tournament and it was won by Magnus Carlsen. He was a world champion at that time uh, and very strong player because his ranking 2881. So one of the highest rankings ever and he was 23 years old and his opponent nowadays number two in the world but at that time Fabiano Caruana played for Italy and he was number four in the world according to the FIDE uh, rankings list and he was 22 years old so uh, without further ado let's jump into this game so we have d4 by Magnus Carlsen e6 e4 d5 so uh, Fabiano Caruana went for the French defense we have knight on d2 and here the most popular moves are knight on f6, this everybody knows, but also c5 is extremely popular, even uh, more often played than knight on f6. So c5, we have French defense Tarash variation, uh, knight g on f3, e takes on d5 is also possible uh, to get to some exchange variations, but Magnus Carlsen play knight g on f3. We have c takes on d4 and now e takes on d4 is still on the board but uh, Magnus Carlsen goes for knight on d4. Uh, knight on c6 or knight on f6. Both options are possible. Uh, Fabiano Caruana goes for knight on f6, more popular. E takes on d5, queen on d5 and now knight b5 threatening this beautiful family fork that would be really awesome to play uh, some move like this Fabiano Caruana is of course too strong player to fall into the simple threat like that so we have knight on a6 uh, defending c7 and now knight back to c3 attacking the queen this is still the main line of this variation and here queen on d6 or queen on d8 both uh, are possible but queen on d8 is a much more popular and natural move we have a3 so uh, controlling this b4 uh, now the bishop can't go on b4 that would be uh, pretty annoying as white would have to react somehow also knight could jump in the future there so uh, a3 is very useful and the most popular move in this variation we have bishop on e7 and now queen on f3 so this is the main idea and now what black should play in this position is knight on c7 or knight on c5. These are the most popular moves here. However, believe me or not, Fabiano Caruana goes for the castle. So now his position is completely safe. And feel free to pause the video and enjoy the winning against Super Grandmaster Fabiano Caruana while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? I believe everybody knows how to beat Fabiano Caruana in this position. So bishop a6, this was played by Magnus Carlsen. And in this position, Fabiano Caruana resigned the game. And he resigned because in this position, he just lost the piece. If b takes on a6, then of course, queen a8 winning the rook. And now queen c7, queen actually can't be trapped. Just move to f3 and of course with the extra rook, uh, the game is easily won by Magnus Carlsen, so Fabiano Caruana decide to resign. And check again this position. This is just incredible. So even Super Grandmaster can blunder the game, you know, in move 10. This is just incredible. So if you blunder from time to time, uh, I think this should make you feel better. Everybody can blunder, even Super Grandmaster Fabiano Caruana, number four 
in the world at that time with ranking 2791. I know this is the Blitz game, but this is just move 10. So he definitely had a lot of time on his clock and he should uh, play much better. And of course, uh, he is known of uh, the person who know a lot of interesting lines. So definitely uh, he should know, uh, you know, uh, what's on the board, uh, what's the threats and, uh, and yeah, what to play next. Castle looks very natural, but not this time. And yeah, if you like this video, press like. If for some reason you don't like it, press unlike. And leave the comment how much you blunder in your games. And if blunder of this caliber uh, happened to you in the tournament game, this is something uh, really incredible. So I'm interested in your opinion. And if you want to see more quality content like this, uh, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.